hey welcome once again now remember that when you do any sdk push you can check uh, if the transaction is successful or it's not so you can see here at mpesa express you can come here at query this query you you can use your checkout id that you get from your sandbox your mpesa sdk here which these hours we got uh, sorry not this let me see here where did i run the application i run it here this is the checkout uh, request id you can use it to check if the transaction has been cancelled or has not been cancelled so you can see in this uh i have already created here uh the query the query uh, sdk uh sdk status and then i have created this uh this is the view where it shows where it's located and this is the function that i have created in this file called query.py now you can see here from this uh you can just enter here your checkout id and it will show these results meaning when you get this result as 10 31 means that timeout is com uh, completing transaction while completing the transaction and when you get uh 10 32 it means transaction has been cancelled by the user this is when the sdk push appears the user cancelled it this is the user now the insufficient balance you'll get as one the transaction was successful you get as zero you can come here at the documentation here where you can read now you can uh, where you can read uh the everything that you need to understand on how you can query transaction query but the code that uh, for us this is the code you when you get an uh the uh, when you get the checkout request id you can just come and paste it here then it will you will see the state that the transaction is at so that's what you just need to know about checking query it's a very short but it's not that important but you can use it to your system where you want to introduce ajax or where you are checking from the database if that transaction is successful you want to update but i'm going to show you in the next video i'm going to show you on how you can handle without using this query uh query transaction using your check uh, checkout request id where you can check if it's completed cancelled or do i can show you another way of doing it and to store how to store the transaction in the database in the next video so see you in the next video